Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you three amazing DIYs to help you organize your desk or study. I actually showed you a desk transformation last week or how to organize and clean your desk in under 10 minutes. You guys loved that episode and you also asked me to make some different DIYs and show you how I organize my desk with really inexpensive kind of ideas. So what did Jess do? Well, she went art and craft shopping and actually some of the DIYs cost me this much because I already had all of the material at home, which is pretty impressive. I'm really proud of myself, guys. So yeah, I get a pat on the back. All right, guys, if you do enjoy it, make sure to thumbs up and show me some love. And let's get into my video and I'm going to show you some awesome DIYs. I love this DIY because it's a great way to spice up your desk and help you organize your pens and pencils. You can also use this DIY to display reminders, anything important you're trying to learn, and even positive quotes to add some inspiration into your study sessions. To create your cork holders, you will need to start off with some empty tin cans. If you can, make sure to peel off the labels, but mine had the labels printed on, so I just left them as they were. Then I found some peel off adhesive cork sheets, so I'm going to roll out the sheet of cork and place the bottom of the can at the end of the roll. Then I mark off the height of the can with a pencil and using a ruler to create a long straight line to cut across. After that you can peel off the backing and wrap the cork around it. If you don't have adhesive strips though, you can always glue some sheets on. I used a few strips to make it thicker for sticking pins into as well. I'm ready to add whatever I feel like. So you can add flowers, pencils, and anything else that your heart desires, and begin pinning your little notes and reminders or even inspirational quotes onto the corks as well. I love the idea of having a tray to keep my stationery and other little items on, but if you can't find a tray or you don't want to spend much money, then this is a really easy and handy DIY to try. Start off with any large photo frame, just make sure the one you choose has a raised frame so it's deep enough to hold your items and stack them up inside as well. Then remove the backing and take out the glass and cardboard frame. Then add the glass back inside and add any patterned paper on top which will go with the theme of your room. Now close the frame up and voila! You have your own customised desk tray to store all of your desk essentials inside. I like to keep some pens and notepad and my glasses inside so that I know where they are always and they're always close by. The next DIY I'm going to show you how to make is something I absolutely love because it's a great way to stay organised and be able to stay on track with all of your monthly events. To make your wipe off desk pad, you're going to start off by taking any A3 sheet of cardboard and laying out some square post-it notes or small paper cutouts. You want to make sure that you have five rows, each with seven columns for the days of the week. and write down the day at the top of the sheet of paper. Now take a roll of self-adhesive book covering and use it to laminate the front and back before trimming the excess from the edges. Once you're done, you can stick it onto your desk with some blue tack. Then go ahead and write down the name of the month at the top of the page and write the dates at each square with a whiteboard marker. You can use this desk pad to note all of your major events, assignments and exams so that you can be sure you won't forget anything and use it to help you stay organised. So comment below telling me which one was your favourite DIY and if you have any other ideas for upcoming episodes then be sure to send them my way, just comment below as well. And if you're not already subscribed, guys, make sure you hit that little red subscribe button below so you can be notified whenever I post up. I'm honestly here to help you out with all of your study needs. I am your one stop for all things school. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I'm going to try and do a few more creative episodes in the near future. So yeah, thanks for your suggestions. Have an amazing week, guys, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!